this Wednesday evening, morning, afternoon, or night of the 28th day of October in the year of our Most High Elohim 2020. The time now is three minutes past six in the evening. Wherever you are domiciled, wherever you are listening to us from, be it on FM, on satellite, on IPOB community radio, Radio Biafra app, Radio Garden, Tuning, Simple Radio, Sweet Radio, however you have chosen to listen to us this very evening, we welcome each and every one of you. And as we welcome you, we also ask you to welcome other people as well. We are live and we are direct and the whole world is bearing us witness. The time now to demonstrate that we are live is four minutes past 7 p.m. in the land of Biafra. Four minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are. We are live and we are direct. And Chuko Kikabiyama is bearing us witness, as always. We have come to continue the ceaseless propagation of the gospel of redemption, the gospel of freedom, the gospel that is seeking to bring down or should I say, call down the kingdom of heaven onto this very earth. My name is Imam Dekano. I am the leader of the largest mass movement on the face of this planet Earth, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPUB. I am the director of radio Biafra and Biafra television. And by the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. We are live and we are direct. Anybody wishing to listen to us should be able to do so. But make it a point of duty to welcome other people. I know that some of you did not receive any notification but I can assure you this evening that this is a live presentation and bearing any, should I say, unforeseen events, I should be live every blessed evening to preach this very gospel. Only tomorrow. I, I'm not sure I'll be live tomorrow evening because I do have an interview with Ovation Magazine, or should I say the owner of Ovation Magazine, Dele Momodu. But we shall be back again in the morning anyway, and I will give you an update. We are going to pray as it is normal and customary for us to do on this very platform. This very day that a judge who was presiding over our case, you know, where it failed to turn up. On a day, Hope Rosadema paid the Nigerian army, the Fulani Janjaweed, to descend, you know, where right now they are busy, cowardly, going from house to house and arresting people. And instructions have been issued. These politicians, they are liars and deceivers. They are liars and deceivers never ever believe anything they tell you these are congenital liars since they want problem <laughs> we give them problem i am live on air if by the time i finish this very program those that are arrested this evening they have not released them there will be no activities tomorrow in no worry. And the new was that in its entirety. That thing they are looking for, they will get. They will get it. 
those politicians, those of your governors, I have never seen a, a, a group of people who are steeped in lies and deception like them. They are liars. Do you know that Igbo governors went and was begging? They are the ones begging for me to give them army that they will pay for it. They asked all the governors to contribute. If you want army to come to your state, please contribute. Hopefully, some of them are paid. Gave for my he paid, and we don't know who else paid. Those that they asked to come from wherever they were coming from, they have now arrived. You know where? Let me see the idiot that will call me to say de-escalate, de-escalate. Unquavo to your konanya, idiots. So now that hope is having more brought in the army, you have not seen it. Who be here? Harababuna and they are a useless set of people. Let me call upon the Most High first of all. We are in a time of revolution. In a time of revolution, other people have given up. Some of them. That is black man for you, this <laughs> Yogi. Black. We just to protest and revolution for two and a half weeks. So now we are go. This Yogi. But we are IPOB and we continue. We are continuing. You people do not want freedom. You don't know what freedom is. You have no idea how expensive freedom is. I told you that British woman will defeat all of you. I told you, if you don't follow our instructions to the letter, to the letter, Britain will deceive you and keep holding you bondage with the help of Fulani Janjaweed. Has it not happened? Uh, 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 ordinary propaganda for four days, you, you can't handle it. The army shot them. The army did they shoot them. The army was there. The army was not there. It's uh, the fault of an uh, 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 ethnic group. Who oh, blame IPOB? One of you. Hey! Black and this UG. You people are useless. <laughs> useless to the core. But I'm sure that the youth will rise up again and come out and understand that perseverance is what gives you results. After two, three days, you know, like, well, like, hey, I started looking. Hey, this thing they are doing. This thing they, they have called all your traditional, all these gossipers and idiots in the village. They have called them. And some of you have foolishly capitulated as always. Evil governors, they tell you one thing, they do another. They say one thing, they do another. Meanwhile, they say, oh, we are calling for peace. But meanwhile, they, we are calling their full and friends to bring army. Please bring army. But in the, please go back. There, there, there should be no more trouble. Please go back. But the back, oh, they are talking to full and give us army. Give us army. Come and kill them. <laughs> Ibo, Ibo man. <laughs> oh, dear. Let us call upon Elohim. Let us call upon Chiku Kikabi Amapurumi Henine. This very evening, our Lord and our God, our Father who art in heaven, we are congregated all over the world to listen to this very gospel of hope that only you have decreed must be preached to the sons of men on this very earth. This evening, as we are here live, on air broadcasting those that claim that they are our leaders have brought death and mayhem upon us once again in Yoruba land their governors have not invited the army to come to kill the people in the middle belt the same but in Biafra land these people that call themselves governors Liars and deceivers. But I don't know how you allowed them to be given birth to in the first place. They have continued their annual call of young people in our land. This evening we ask for your mercy because they are in no worry. Not that we cannot fight back and kill these very people. But the thing is that the wider body of our people, Biafans at large, 
they feed off gossip they are very weak they are not men and if we keep quiet your land will be taken over by the uncircumcised very filthy uneducatable Fulani Janjaweed and we are not sure that that was your plan when you gave that land to our ancestors therefore we call upon thee this very evening to give us common sense a sense of understanding forbearance endurance even but above all a sense of pride that we have thee to fight our battles for us we honor all those who have fallen we remember those who have been illegally locked up dead bodies of your children are being discovered all over enugu as we speak we know that the same thing will apply elsewhere in biafra land we know they are abducting and killing your children in Akwaibom as we speak we know that he gotcha a land you blessed abundantly but that the white man saw and decided to start the division of your family that very land is also under siege presided over by agents of Fulani Janjawidism we honor all young revolutionaries across Nigeria especially in the middle belt those that came out and answered this call when out of anger and frustration they rose up spontaneously to respond to a decaying evil regime that the Fulanis are presiding over in Abuja. We remember all of them. They are young revolutionaries and most of them were martyred at Lake Gate in the process. They have now gone before us. All those who struggled for the sake of a new society some of them had in mind to build a new viable workable nigeria but as always the old alliance that we warned them against ganged up to defeat them and some people capitulated because they were weak this evening we ask you heavenly father to remove that stupidity that is in every black man from the brain of these young people we praise your holy name because you are god who formed us you created biafra and we are led by you that is why we said that no man can be king over another but only the Elohim is god and king over all in gratitude this very ancient nation of biafra we stand on your sacrifices and victories that you have given to us through our heroes who have passed and this very generation of young revolutionaries we invite your presence into our lives this evening give us common sense because we need wisdom we need strength and we need all that we can get from thee to accompany us as we continue to embark on this very struggle to set your land free we ask you to be with us always as we continue to fight that your kingdom may be restored on this very earth that every glory and honor adulation and adoration may be given to your name now and forevermore we pray he say he say he say i will never get tired of saying this it is either that God made a mistake creating black people or after if you are following Darwin's 
evolutionary theory, perhaps when living organisms or species we are developing many many thousands of years ago perhaps after chimpanzees then black people came and then maybe after them other races in the earth started to come because this evening before i came on air i was asking myself what actually is responsible for the feebleness and the weakness of a black man. They are not resilient. With the exception of IPOB, who over the years have faced battles and still facing some this evening, you know, worry. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> Black people are not mentally tough enough. You allow yourself to be buffeted on all sides by fools before our own very eyes, before our eyes. All of us knew the army was responsible for the shooting at Lekki. <laughs> And I said that should this very revolution fail, they will come to your houses one after the other to arrest you. Is it not happening tonight? In Nemo State? Is it not happening? You see, we are in Africa. Africans are very primitive in their thinking. When you embark on a revolution, you must win. And when you are going into a revolution, be prepared to invest everything you have into that revolution. Because in Africa, <laughs> their politicians are just evil. They are very wicked people, I assure you. Very, very wicked. There are some things that some of you do not know. That this evening... By the grace of the Most High, I shall endeavor to enlighten you. There are politicians who are staking their entire life on getting into political office between now and 2023. They have made all their plans and all their arrangements. So they see this revolution that very political ambition and aspiration. Therefore, for the sake of the survival of their own families, because of the money they are about to make, or they hope to make, from 2023 onwards, they might as well sabotage this very effort, this very revolution. But they cannot succeed. There are people who are opportunists. They want to make, they claim they are rich. And they want to make even more money using the blood and the sacrifices that all our revolutionaries have made and will continue to make until our dream of a new society is attained. There is a man called Ifanyo Bad, they said he's from Nnewi. As soon as this whole thing started, he went about lying to the presidency of the zoo that he talks to me every day. I have never in my life spoken to Ifanyo Bad before. I have not. He kept using the name of IPOB to extort money. Very comfortable individuals in and around the Navy during this period. He has been going around duping people, obtaining money from them with falsehood because he claimed that he would defend their properties for them and prevent 
our angry young people from attacking them. And he told Asarok that we speak on a daily basis. That he is in control of what is happening on the ground. That was the man that when this whole thing started, he was the one that was seen distributing 20,000 Naira each to some hooligans. Very, very sad indeed. Those people that later on decided to occupy the road leading from Onisha to a worry that necessitated or warranted the order that I gave during one of our emergency broadcasts that they should clear from the roads, which they did. If you know this man, Ifanyo Ba, who is from Nene, will you go and warn him? All those stupid politics and games they play, we don't play it. We are IPOB. We don't play all those. They can play that nonsensical games with the hotelier. Not with us. Because we are very, very serious. If you have been duped with the name of IPOB, if you have been deceived into thinking that Ifan Yoba has the ear of anyone, not even the unit coordinator in his village, then you are grossly mistaken. We don't know who he is, and we do not care to know who he is. The people of Ne, we should please take note and stop giving him your money or allowing him access to whatever influence that he thinks you may be able to wield in Abuja based on these lies he's been propagating. We don't know who he is. Coming to the Zoological Republic, it is very, very pertinent that we draw the attention of the world and humanity at large to what Nigeria is all about. And I want you this evening, as you listen to this very broadcast, to reflect, to ponder, to contemplate what would have been or what should have been. Do you know that people broke into warehouses trying to get their hands on the politics for which any good state government ordered the senseless slaughter of a lot of people? I have asked somebody to send the video of those who were abducted and killed by the police to the governor of any good state. I did that before we come on air so that they wouldn't deny it. <clears throat> the palliatives that people went for in Enugu and were shot dead people did the same thing in Abuja in Bauchi in Yobe in Kaduna and nobody shot them and many other places nobody attacked or shot at them only in Enugu, there is something Igbo governors derive from killing their own people. They want to kill their youngsters so that the Fulani can come and take over our land. I have never seen a more frightened group of people than your average Biafran politician. They are all beholden to Fulani, to the might of Fulani Janja Buddhism. They are cowards. That is why they kill their own people. All of you, perhaps some of you, who are staying or living in Abuja, some of you that were online, talking, writing, and yapping your usual garbage, your usual nonsense, People are currently being arrested for no reason in Imo State. <laughs> because tomorrow night you say, oh, they are burning houses, oh, they are burning uh, barracks, they are burning police station. 
All of you bastards, they're going to three men. All of you idiots, all of you demons, can you see what Hope Zarema is doing in Imo State? All of you zoo newspaper editors, can you see what Hope Zarema is doing in Imo State? This night, arresting people with the army. Have you, can you people see this level of provocation? Because you are the fools that will write and talk and yap your usual nonsense. You animals in the zoological republic. Animals you are. You don't know what freedom is. I don't know why God created black people. The most useless set of people on the face of this planet Earth. The revolution you couldn't sustain for three weeks in Kete. I told you a revolution takes a cycle. The gestation period is four weeks. If you sustain it for four weeks, you would have won. But you couldn't. You allowed them to inject violence. Let me tell you, I warned zoo people, you Nigerians, I warned you. The fact that when Buhari died, you allowed Jubril to take over from Sudan. That conveyed the message to the Fulani that all of you can be easily controlled. Believe you me, God is my witness. With the exception of Ududua agitators and Biafra agitators, if Fulani today decides to change the constitution to allow Nigeria to become a one-party state with APC in power forever and ever, I am telling you, you will do nothing. They will succeed. If today Fulani wakes up and says to themselves, we are going to take over River State, believe you me, they will succeed. They have already said that the oil in Bayelsa belongs to Jigawa and nobody said one word from the so-called useless Niger Delta. Not one single word. Not him. But if you see IPOB, you start running your mouth. Or now back of Otoro, you start running your mouth. You start popping like popcorn. Somebody said that the oil in Bayelsa belongs to Jigawa and all of you kept quiet because they have subdued you. You are under their feet. But not help you be. <laughs> People went looking for COVID-19 relief. All over the zoological republic. Nothing happened to them. Those in any good that went to look for the same relief. They were shot dead and today we are seeing the pictures and the videos of all the dead bodies. And as I said, I have asked for these videos to be sent to Ifan Yubwani. And I want to ask the governor of Enugu State, when Fulani is invaded Nimbo, did you do anything? Also one and clean people, did you do anything? Did the police go there to shoot them or the army to shoot them? Fulani people were in Ozo one and massacring the people of Enugu. Governor, did you do anything? Who else did anything from there? Nothing. The same people, they are hungry and they went to a warehouse where stolen goods were and they were shot dead. <laughs> This was the plans the governors had, or the palier thieves. That's what somebody suggested. They are called palier thieves. They stole the palliatives supplied by World Bank, supplied by the EU, supplied by the US government. They wanted to rebag the rice, put their picture on the bag, either use it for elections or sell it to some of you. And these are your political leaders. Now, there is a man called Buba Galadima. He's an elder, you know, everybody's an elder statesman. He is also an elder statesman. He made a revelation about COVID-19 palliatives, that these governors are schooled away somewhere, hiding them in warehouses, unmarked warehouses, whilst the people were starving. And I want to ask you, an average Nigerian, 
how can you trust such people you were hungry they locked you up in your homes for weeks on end and the white people are so you know it's always white people they're the ones who are who show sympathy white people who decided to send relief for your upkeep so that you can survive the lockdown your so-called excellency excellency took all the bags of rice cartons of indomie and goodness knows what next and stored them in a warehouse the governors across nigeria did not give you the palliative they wanted you to starve to death meanwhile their children are all abroad they are in government houses and government lodges eating and living large do you know the most painful part of it the palliatives they did not buy you it's not with their money white people gave it to them to say feed those hungry black people in africa and they stored it in a warehouse they did not give it to you they wanted you to starve to death how therefore can you convince anybody that your politicians love you do you see why most of them their homes were invaded some of you idiots chattering your usual rubbish on social media were writing nonsense because none of you understood what a revolution or understand what a revolution entails there is the good side of a revolution there's always a, a very ugly side to a revolution we all have access to social media everybody can come and say all right of course people are entitled to their views and their opinions but i must tell you that the black that black people in black africa is a disgrace they don't have mental toughness they're not tough mentally they don't know let me tell you something about white people and mental toughness and why black africa will remain poor forever and ever unless we succeed in overthrowing this corrupt wicked and evil order that you have governors we are storing palliatives meant for the people they did not buy it with their state money nigeria did not buy it europe and america gave it to you for free to feed your people did you feed your people it's just like a woman you gave birth to a child and the child is screaming and crying and the midwife comes and says it's now time to breastfeed this child there is milk in your breast as a mother but you refuse to breastfeed the child do you understand what i'm saying how if if you if you go to a hospital a hospital now and you go to the maternity ward and the doctor or the chief midwife comes to you and says to you as a husband that your wife gave birth successfully to a bouncing baby boy or baby girl and that baby is crying that baby needs milk and bonding with the mother but your wife have refused to give her or to feed that baby or to give the baby breast milk how would you feel as a man or as a woman you know that your husband has money you can see money in his pocket when you go to wash his clothes and everybody in the house is hungry including the children and your husband refuses to bring out that money as a wife how would you feel it's a simple question these governors what is so painful is that they did not buy the palliatives it was given to them for free to give to poor starving black african people they decided to hoard it in a warehouse people discovered their wickedness and their treachery some people that i know are actually defending them online saying that the palliatives shouldn't be the warehouses should not have been broken into and then that i kept asking myself all afternoon why is it that black people in africa they are in love with wickedness why 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 do people love wickedness and lying black people are liars they are very wicked and they lie 
Let me tell you what this man said, Buba Galadima. He spoke during an interview. It was aired on AIT. He said, allegations of hoarding has been made against some governors. He was the former national secretary for Buhari's party, the CPC, the Janjaweed party. The state in Nigeria, the 36 or 32 states in the Zoo, Zoological Republic, they diverted the food items meant for the masses. Meant for the masses. Understand this very clearly. Do you know what happened to the, pal to the palliative that the white man gave to your black governors in Africa, Miss UG? I said, the day that I finish living on this very earth and I pass on and God calls me and I go, the first thing I'll ask God is, uh, why did you create black people, in, especially in Africa? Why did you make them? Why? Do you know what Gladima said? One governor came to him. I know a state where all the palliatives taken from the federal government we are kept in stores and they came to my office looking for buyers for those commodities. And they said the buyers must be from the state. Let's say you are in Katsina State or in Yobe or in Nasarawa. Europe and America gave money to starving black people in Africa. They channeled that aid through the federal government of Nigeria. And the palliatives were distributed to the states. <laughs> the one that went to Nasarawa, for instance, oh, let me use the local state, the one that went to local state to feed poor people that a local state government did not buy, Abia did not buy, Rivers did not buy, Bayesa did not buy, Edo did not buy anything, neither did Delta. This was free gift to starving black people in Africa. A governor who claims he is a man of the people. A governor who claims, oh, my state, what is happening in my state? I want to let the world this night understand how evil a black man is. And I want the world to know that black people are suffering all over the world because they are wicked. Black people are evil. They are wicked. We are a very wicked and evil race. Very wicked and evil. Rice was given to you by Canada. US gave you rice. Japan gave you rice. EU gave you rice. You did not buy it yourself. You people we are the ones that said, you must stay indoors, quarantine, lock up, lock up. When people go outside, Army will kill them, lock them up, terrorize them. You said you should stay indoors. Everybody stayed indoors. And people kept crying. I'm on a day job. I cannot feed my children. You said shut up and stay there. You provided nothing. But when the white man supplied food for you to give to your fellow starving black people, what did you do? You stored it in a warehouse, and according to Buba Galadima, one state governor approached him and said, please find buyers for these bags of rice supplied by the European Union. Meanwhile, everywhere and everybody is on lockdown. Do you understand? Do you see why I sometimes I look at my fellow black people with disdain? When I sometimes when I look at a black person, I'm, I'm just observing you. What is playing in my mind is that this is this is this man or woman is a bundle of wickedness. I have never seen a race more primitive than black people in Africa. Primitive and backwards. No lever to fight. No resilience. Once you drag any serious issue into the realm of gossip, they capitulate. 
All of you are screaming. Oh, stop this. Stop. And I warned you, in a revolution, you must win. You don't stop. You must win. Any day you stop, the enemies will come. As Hope Rose Adema have proven this very evening. And I'm sure by tomorrow morning you will hear the story. <laughs> the order has been given. Then you go down there. Let's say it to go. <laughs> Let me see the bastard that will open his thinking stupid. He will take him out to talk rubbish. He will take him out. Mad people everywhere. They came to my office. And they said, we have politics from the federal government. We have put them in stores all over the place. Please, can you look for buyers for these commodities? <laughs> this UG, black people. Black. And you wonder why there is no electricity. You wonder why there is no running water. You wonder why an idiot, a, a, a Lilliput, a Lilliput like him, um, or say a Lilliputian, as you say, like we can open his mouth and say he will sack a fellow elected public official. You now know why Fulani can, the army of Fulani can be escorting their terrorists to be killing all of you and you all keep quiet because of the Fulani meat that you eat. You people are crazy. Crazy. Big time. Crazy. Big time. There are some things left in this revolution. It's called the embers of it. You know that when in the village after cooking, you can put out the fires. But there will be still be some uh, pockets, you know, within that fire that is still smoldering. You see, still smoldering. So what led to the spontaneous end SARS protest, I believe that the residue of it is still in some of you and burning very, very widely. All the youths of Nigeria should prepare to come out again. And this time around, there is no stopping until victory is announced. Do you want a better life? Do you want a life of 24 hour security for you and your children? In terms of good roads, good schools, good hospitals, better prospect in terms of jobs when you graduate. You are all going to come out on the streets again on a date to be announced. And this time around, I think we have now proven that we outnumber them. You see, when we are all in the house, frightened to come out, they win. But if we come out in mass and meet them, we overrun them. Do not expect Fulani youths to join you. Don't expect Hausa youths to join you. Because Hausa doesn't exist. Hausa is like, they are like, uh, 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 they are like um, zombies possessed by Fulani. Ginger Woodism. They don't, house, I, don't, I don't count them as have you uh, these days do I mention house a lot only when I want to tell them what they did to themselves I only mention Fulani because house that doesn't exist anybody telling you that house that people exist that person is deluded he said a young man house that doesn't exist only the language their soul has been taken over by Fulani Fulani has eaten so deep into them that their soul the essence of a house man no longer exists now, Buddha Galadima said that these palliatives, <laughs> he asked them, who owns the rice you want to sell to me? They said, we got it from federal government as a palliative, but we are looking for who is going to buy it. But people were locked up in their homes. After locking them up, they came outside, they saw where you stored Stolen, you stole it from them. These palliatives are being started. You, you, the governor, you stole it from the people because it's not yours. You were doing it's just like when you see somebody going home. Say, oh, I'm in Lagos, oh, my dear brother. Are you going to the village? They say, Oh, please take this envelope, give to my sick mother in the village. And the person will take the envelope from you, 
come back to the village, see your sick mother, and not hand her the envelope you gave for her treatment or for her feeding. And when you see that person and you confront that person, your typical idiotic, foolish Nigerian will say, Oh, stop harassing that man. And you're saying, I gave him something to give to my mother. He didn't. Do you see how people reason? The bags of rice that we are giving to the governors. Please, governor, I'm asking any good state governor. They gave you the rice to do what with? They gave you the rice to distribute to the people. They gave you the cartons of Indomie to distribute to the people. Is it yours? The mere fact that it was given to you to give to people of any good state means it is not yours. So, the act of withholding it is stealing. I don't know if people are following what I'm saying. Do you understand it? Do you see why I said that black people are evil and very wicked? And God do not bless wicked people. No matter how bad white people are, they are always charitable. Do you know how people became, become popular in the Western world? People that raise money for charity. Do you see that um, this guy has been honored by the Queen of England? Rashford, that plays for Man United. What did Rashford do to be earning all those accolades and praise? Because Rashford began a charity to ensure that even in this COVID-19 lockdown, that every child receives a hot meal a day in the whole of the UK. Right, people? When somebody makes sense or does something that they cannot do. They, they, they gang up and they support that person. Do you understand? <laughs> Rashford is now not just a very good um, footballer and celebrity. He is now celebrated by everybody, even up to and including Liverpool fans and all other people, even Man City fans. Because he did something nice. You can see Lewis Hamilton. The day, the way he took it upon himself to make sure that every sports event in the United Kingdom, you must take the knee before you start. Because of Black Lives Matter. Are you aware of it? Today, because of that, people not only see him as a great sportsman that he is, they now see him as also a humanitarian. And they love and they respect him because of that. I hope you understand what I'm saying very, very clearly. I hope you understand it. These are the things that you must bear in mind. These are the things that you must know. Because in this life, what you do for the people is what defines who you are. You are a governor. You are given rights. To give to people of um, of uh, uh, MNA. And you started in a warehouse. You did not distribute it. You didn't. That makes you a criminal. You are up here now in Anambra State. They gave you rights to distribute to the people. You did not. You are a thief. Not only are you stealing the budget of the state, or come on, rice, indomie, packet of indomie, anything in the matter, you also stole it. And so it is with all the 36 or 32 governors you have in the Zoological Republic. And you claim you are serving the people. You claim you are serving the people. I warned all of you when this protest started that they will bribe the media. 4.8 billion they spent. They will bribe them. They will quietly run down the protest. Have you seen it? And that has given them the opportunity to be going house to house now, you know, where they're arresting people. And they will kill them before tomorrow morning. And hide their bodies. And when we start to bomb police stations, idiots will be talking. The next time we commence 
all of you fools yapping rubbish we will find all of you one after the other now that some of you have stopped coming out to protest do you have justice do you have justice the answer is no you people don't know how evil nigeria is you have no idea <laughs> you, you 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 just don't come out and go into a revolution if you don't develop hatred for nigeria to the well, what i call blind hatred for nigeria as some of us i hate nigeria in such a way that i when i see the flag green white green i i want to go into a state of convulsion i despise i'm telling you anytime somebody says i am a proud nigerian or i am a nigerian i hate you i don't care who you are i don't see you as a human being you have stopped protesting some of you have do you have electricity in your home now 24 hours do you have running water in your home how about the checkpoints have they stopped has police and army brutality gone that was why people came out in the first place have you managed to stop army and police brutality the answer is no things have just gone back to normal these idiots have defeated some of you because you don't hate nigeria enough you don't understand you need to have a pathological hatred for nigeria to overthrow it because if you do not kill nigeria nigeria will kill you we will just allow you in the next couple of weeks to see what we are talking about you people are weak a revolution is not meant for weak people a revolution is meant for people who are determined and being on social media complaining after church service complaining to your friends and your family is not going to solve the problem what solves the problem is action action is what solves the problem and that action we are going to undertake in the coming weeks and days that is the galadina and let me tell you people that believe in one nigeria i don't know how britain managed to rearrange your brains but they did very very well you know the white man is very clever <laughs> you know i i am being honest with you the more i look at us black people our hopelessness our stupidity our greedy nature which made the governors to steal the rights belonging to the people and when the people broke into the warehouse they are calling the people criminals you stole my motorcycle you did not just steal from me you came to my village you packed all our motorcycles as a thief and you stored it somewhere in a warehouse in Omaha township and we went to the warehouse to recover our motorcycles. Now, Nigerian media, they ganged up, but they're not calling us hoodlums. Hoodlums. My property. The rights was given by the EU to give to the people. It's not yours, Mr. Governor. Do you understand? Do you understand? As somebody called the zoo location 419 everybody is a thief Ndioshi. thieves you are so called you you see that they say oh, we, they have stolen your money oh. every monthly allocation is theirs because nigeria is run like a feudal system the house of assembly do not have any oversight function insofar as the budget is concerned a house of assembly cannot hold the governor to account only when they collect money from abuja to try to impeach somebody that's all they can do governor is the rice yours no then it is a stolen property people breaking into warehouses are recovering their properties that you stole somebody that read journalism 
in school. Somebody that claims he or she has common sense, working for Punch newspaper, working for Vanguard, working for Sun, working for, for, for Nation, working for Daily Telegraph, working for Daily Trust, working for what are all these useless idiotic zoopapers, working for them. You have the, have, despite all your education, no, as an editor, you allow a news to make the round that people that went to look for their bags of rice that governor stole and their bags of indomie that they are hoodlums them and the governors who should be called a hoodlum do you see why i say that black people do not reason black people don't reason blacks do black african people they do not reason somebody from the u.s okay let me give you an example somebody sent you western union from europe or from america or from asia or from south america western union and on getting to the bank the bank manager sees your money what are you going to do you and the bank manager or the bank manager say oh no money was sent to no money was sent to me because that's what they, they said we have no palliatives people were crying and dying and they said we have no palliatives at all i want to ask you a simple question somebody sent you a, a monogram or a western union from england and the bank manager came out to address you and said to you um i don't have your money but you have the control number you have all the details and the bank manager, the money is not here but when you went out you can hear the cashier saying, uh, please, uh, 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 organ manager, here is that 10,000 uh, that, um, that uh, Dio, uh, that was sent to Dio. And Dio was leaving the bank. Upon hearing that, Dio now came back and snatched the money from the bank manager. Do you know what Nigerian papers will say? A bank manager attacked 10,000 naira stolen from a bank manager. But the money belongs to Dio in the first place. It doesn't belong to the bank manager. Now, imagine that somebody sent you Western Union and the bank said to you, we can't give it to you. That's what it is. How would you feel? The same thing that the bags of rice sent by the EU was not meant for the governors. It was meant for you, ordinary people. And the governors took it. Now, who is a hoodlum? But because, as I told you before, Black people are naturally wicked and evil. That is why a journalist in Lagos or in Abuja with conscience will sit down in his office and write and say that a hoodlums broke into palliative warehouse and stole bags of rice. Bags of rice that were meant for them in the first place. How do you want me to preach this gospel so you understand? That the way people do things in Africa, that the way we reason is our problem. The way the brain of a black person functions is the greatest impediment to the development of Africa. We don't reason. Europe gave rights to poor people in Nigeria. They did not give it to governors. But out of respect and protocol, before they start saying you are invading our sovereignty, they gave it to the federal government of Nigeria to share to everybody, and they shared. At least we can now see that what that full and Janja weed lady is saying is at least true. That palliatives were shared to every part of the country. That was what that is it, Sadia, whatever her name is. That uh, that uh Abakiari's former girlfriend, what's her name? Sadia, whatever. She said we distributed palliatives. People were arguing, especially in the South. No palliatives were received. We have nothing. We are dying of hunger. Every governor from somewhere in Lagos to Alade in Cross River, they saw people crying and complaining of hunger. Meanwhile, there are bags of rice, tons of them, in a warehouse supplied by white people. White people in Europe and in America, they saw black people crying and saying, we have no food, we have no food, we are in quarantine, they won't allow us to come out. And they gave those black poor, and the governors, they hoarded it.
But in the house of the governor, he has food, he has chicken, he has turkey, he has goat, he has cow, he can he has donkey, he has camel, he can eat anything he likes. We did not ask him to please give us from government house, so, but this one that was supplied by Oyibo, give it to us. And they said no. They stole it. Your governors are thieves. They stole the, they stole the whole thing. Put in their houses. In their private warehouse and locked it up. Now, when the hungry people went to get it, when the hungry people went to get what Oyibo gave to them, because EU gave them the bags of rice and said, give to your poor people. When those poor people went to go and get what EU gave to them, a Nigerian newspaper editor that went to school, went to Angola, is, uh, is now calling them hoodlums. And, 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 uh, and, uh, uh, what's it called them? Um, there's another word they use. They use hoodlum and they use, uh, what's another word? Uh, um, uh, it will come to me. All manner of names that somebody went to take what is his. Went to go and take what belongs to him. You sent me Western Union. And I went to get it. And the person is saying he's not here. And as I'm going out, I can see them forging my signature, trying to collect my money. And I went there and I snatched my money from them. And the Nigerian journalist or AIT or even channels they say, oh, a, a, a criminal at the bank attacks the bank manager and snatched the money from the bank manager. <laughs> In my next life, I will not see black people. God knows I will not. I don't want to see black people. I don't want to see them. God forbid. In this UG. You people are wicked. Absolutely wicked. They are also in Olo now molesting people. Nigeria army is in Olo. You see, they say, Oh, bring down the tension, calm down, go and clean the streets, calm down. We have come down, we have cleaned the streets, they have now come to molest us. Who else in their right mind will ever call me again and say, Calm down? They won't even try that rubbish anyway. They are in Olo, they are nowhere now molesting people. Do you see why we are hunting hopes of the Madai no Ludai no we are molesting people? Fulani Janja weed. And by tomorrow, if I knew that black people was this way, I would have died in my mother's womb. If I knew that God Elohim Chukokikadema was putting me in a race that is not only wicked but very stupid, on top of their wickedness, they have stupidity. God knows I wouldn't want to come. That is why I don't give a damn sometimes when danger is around me. I don't care. Because living the life as a black person is torture. Especially if you can reason. If you, can, if you have common sense and you can reason. Being a black person is torture, is punishment, is a crime against yourself. How can people, when we call them looters, they don't believe it. How can you be looting something that was given to you to give to somebody? The, the budget you have been stealing, buying houses in Dubai, in America, in London, in Paris, is not enough. Ordinary bag of rice, you used to it. Governors, ordinary bag of rice belonging to the people used. Cattle of him, is really an ocean. Oh, China, China, Kedra. This UG, I don't know, in my next life, I can't, I don't want to be close to you people. I have never, I can never, sometimes I run out of adjectives, I don't know how, I don't know how to describe them. And I'm going to see one in the hour, I don't know who they are. Blacks everywhere in the world, the same thing, wickedness upon wickedness, idiocy upon idiocy, stupidity upon stupidity, common to reason, they don't have. Hey, in our own lifetime, people were wondering. I know after my gospel in the morning that is your hair and we the little Hitler of Rivers, <laughs> of Hitler with his mustache. 
you know when I preach, I say always that we are always right and we always win. Always right and we always win. Now listen, I used to say to you people that Biafra is evil. Forget your diff. Oh my genetic. How do I explain this to this? You know, I'm, I know I'm talking to black people. I'm just trying to find the right words. So when I explain it, you understand. Bla uh, the whole of Biafra land is evil. It doesn't mean that anybody is coming to impose whatever language on you. The reason why my Yoruba brothers they have the same language is because of the conquest from Ileife of other Yoruba people. Like the Lajes, the Ijebus, the um those from Ikiti, what are they called again? Um Ijebu people, there are the Eba people. But they are all Yoruba. Because of conquest. Because the royal family from Ileife conquered all of them and imposed Yoruba language. Had the, had the Yoruba society remained republican by nature, the Eba people would speak a different language, the Lajes would speak a different language, the Jebus would speak a different language. The Oyo will speak a different language. Do you understand? But they are all together, all one family. The reason why I want a strong happy agent, big, that you are listening. And we can. The reason why everybody in Biafra land, the East, is not doesn't speak Igbo today, is because Igbo people never had a king that can go to war. There was no king. God is our king. And you do not take what doesn't belong to you. It is called It means you must be fair all times. That thing you don't want somebody to do to you, don't do it to another person. That was the reason why there was no history of conquest. And because of that, people developed, had their own distinct dialect, had their own way of life. Are you following? Now let me tell you why I said I've preached this before. But you know our people are sometimes hard at hearing, so I'll preach it again tonight. Let me tell you the reason why I said that Biafra land is Igbo. Not Igbo language. Not that Igbo people own it. Everybody is Igbo originally. I want to prove to all of you that everything I say is correct. How many states make up Biafra land? I wish I'm doing this thing in a town hall meeting. I would have enjoyed it more. Biafra land, as I have said, and as I have argued, and even in, um, in um, when, when I was arrested and detained, uh, they were interviewing me at DSS. They asked me to give them the names of the areas that I say is Biafra territory. I said Imo, Enugu, Edo, Abia, Bayelsa, Rivers, Cross River, Eboi, Anambra, Delta, Akwaibom, Benue, Kogi. Once I mentioned Kogi and Benue, they went mad. Hey, he has come. Oh, he wants to take Middle Belt as well. Even Garabashev, we said it only last week. And this night, please pay me attention. Give me your, your attention. Give me your attention. I'm begging you, please. Why I said that Biafra land is Igbo. Igbo is the glue that holds it together. And I will prove it to you tonight. Do you know why I'm angry with Nigeria? Some people don't understand. I hate Nigeria with a passion. I despise Nigeria. With every sinew in my body. From 13 states, they shrunk the Igbo nation to only five in the middle. And I want you to minus five from 13. What are you left with? Eight. There are eight states where there are Igbo people that the Fulani is telling you that they are not Igbo or they have given to other people by force. Now listen please. Why I said everybody is Igbo. 
Are there Igbo people in Nimo State? I'm sure some people are not saying yes. Are there Igbo people in Enugu State? Yes. Are there Igbo people in Edo State? Yes. Igbo people in Abia? Yes. Even in Bayelsa? Some people say, but is hey, Bayelsa? Hey, but is but is is it your land? Yes, it is. But there is a place called Usepenike, Abreton, AK, AK, Okokri. When we are so we used to sing a song, Dead Okokri. When we are well, we going to go that anyway, Okokri. And if you come to our land, if you go to every school you have today and ask the headmaster to bring out the register, somebody's answering Okokri. If in any these are in Bayelsa. Igbo towns and villages in Bayelsa. Are there Igbo people in Cross River State? Yes. In Akwaibom? Yes. In the Kalogo government area? <laughs> oh dear. Are there Igbo people in Benue State? Yes. Is now that I have been shouting and screaming and condemning on Hanes and their throne and Yoshi that they have now said to say, okay, let us see if we can go and find them. <laughs> because of Radio Biafra, because of IPOB, what we are doing here. But are there Izan people in Imo? No. Are there, say, Idoma people in Abia? No. But in every state that make up the traditional Biafra land, Igbo people are found in all of them. Igbo speaking people are found in all of them. That tells you something that all of us have a common Igbo ancestry and heritage, which we know as Biafra. Do you understand now? The reason why only five states were accepted, or the former East Central state, is because the Fulani courtesy of the of the British wants to diminish and reduce our size and number. This is something that Wike doesn't know. And I want to shock Wike tonight with facts and figures. I want to teach Wike a lesson that he would never ever forget. Why I said we are all Igbo people is the same way the 12 tribes of Israel descended from one origin, which is Jacob. But the same, Jacob is their father, all of them, the 12 tribes. Jacob is their father, one man. But as the centuries wore on, they started to speak different languages. But from the same man, Jacob. They all started to speak different languages. They intermarried. They are from the same blood, though. They intermarried. And as you well know, some people used to accuse us before to say, Oh, people, you always marry from your village when you want to get married. And I said to them, Go and listen to what Jacob said, to what um, 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 Abraham said, to what Isaac said. Go to my people and get a wife for my son. <laughs> that's how it's been from the beginning and it means that listen carefully anybody from Imo, Enugu, Edo, Abia, Baasa, Rivers, Cross River, Eboni, Anambra, Delta, Kwebom, Benue and Kogi I mean Lower Benue and Lower Kogi you can marry anybody from here because you are up from one ancestry you have one ancestral heritage the language may be different the dance steps may be slightly different, but they all tie to peace rapper, the same women. You can marry anybody from here and you can rise up and say, I am married to an Igbo woman. Is here now? Is there any place here that there are no Igbo people? That is what Nigeria doesn't want you to know. That is why they hate us. The corrupt, idiotic ones, few of them, of course. And that is why we must continue until... Is it a woman? Hey! I want to let me understand. In River State, you have a woman, a che, a mama. The same way you have a mama in Ongwa. 
ndani ikwere ekwere obi ibo opobo and oba and opobo is is bunny here bunny where is bunny they didn't even put bunny here there's no bunny is not here which is obani u b a n i like you have an obani big bunny <laughs> do you know where they come from I want to teach we a lesson tonight. Do you know where these people come from? And I want to prove it to anybody. If you're from Ebema, you're from no, not Ebema. Ebema is a is separate. As it, you have Ebema in Imo State, oh, Makadi Amama. You have if you are from Eche, you're from Ikwere. Let me pick only those two out: Eche and Ikwere. Do you know the people that gave birth to you? At least what I call your maternal lineage. Almost 80% of the people you see today in Iguacha saying they are Niger Delta from River State. Their maternal lineage is from Ikeduru in Imo State. Go and ask. Hey, people are listening in Iguacha tonight. Our FM is on in Iguacha. I want you to go and ask your father and ask your father to be honest with you or ask your mom where does my grandmother come from? Don't say you ask her, where is it that our grandmother came from in the first place? They will tell you, Ike Dudu. You know, in those days, it happened in my village as well. Once one Olokoro woman is married into Isama Farubu, she will go to her village and she will bring her younger sister or her younger niece. They will come to my village and from there, they too will get married to somebody in my village. That is why if you come to my village, there are all, the state of my grandmother and my aunt, so to speak, they are all from Olokoro. Go and check. Come to Isama for the and check. The same thing happened in Iguacha. Almost all their mothers came from Ikeduru, in Imo State. The same way that almost all their mothers in Ejola and the Zon came from Arochubu. I forgot to add Ondo State. Our people are in Ondo State as well. It doesn't mean that Ondo is, 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 is Igbo territory. No, it's not. But we have Izon people, Ejon in Ondo State. And they too, the Oromo people are coming with us. They are coming with us. I don't uh, Is it Aro, Aro, is it Aromo? Aromo. A R O M O. What uh, I want to get it right. They are also coming with us. They are their friends. We can't leave them. Now you understand why we preach this gospel the way we do. So that the world may know. That's something that we can, if you trace your we can spare you anyway, I'm not even going to go far. Why EK? You are not Igbo? We can. Why? So when he travels abroad, they call him, hey, hello, Mr. White. He would think he's a, with his resource control hat, Panama hat that we Is it traditional to our land? That bowler hat you wear, resource control hat you wear, looking like, um, like, uh, 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 I'm asking you. Those of you idiots that came from Niger Delta in his own land, are you English? You're wearing a, 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 a hat made in Europe. You say it's your traditional wear. Does that make sense to you? That tells you that you are ashamed of your traditional wear. And your traditional wear is uu uu The same one that Ababio wears. The same one that Chibika Mechi wears. Uu uu the same one they wear when they want to go to war dance, you know, half year. Does that, is, is that clear now? I hope that some of you are following. The reason why in his own land they wear bowler hat made by Europeans is because of the preponderant influence of slavery. You know me, I, I tell you the truth. God said you must preach the truth regardless of the consequences. That's what I preach. Is Bola hat for that hat that Jonathan wears and uh, Edwin Clark? Is it traditional to Africa? Is it African attire? That thing you put on your head. Is it African? What is African in that part of the world? Only two types of hat: the red cap that Ndinze and also they wear, and the Oglu 
the one that you weave with cotton that Ababi wears. Are they not the two caps that we have? Are they not African? Are they not traditional? You that is wearing Bora hat and the Panama hat in the in the creeks. Is that Panama hat you're wearing or Bola hat? Is it African? Please come back to your roots. People should give them the red cap to wear and we will. Somebody should give it to Jonathan to be wearing. So when you travel abroad, they look at you. A bola hat is meant to be worn with a suit, a morning suit. Do you know what is a morning suit? You know the one that looks like um like a praying mantis, the one that comes out at the back. That's what it's called a morning suit. The one they wear to attend weddings. When you're getting married, in uh, 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 an Englishman is getting married, that is what they wear. The one that flares out at the back, small at the front, flares out at the back, or with a suit, you can wear a bowler hat. You don't see a white man wearing ordinary shirts without a tie, and you see them wearing a bowler hat. It's not possible. But here, somebody will tie a wrapper the way we do with dress. I tie a wrapper as well. We tie our wrapper, dress traditionally, and you put on a bowler hat. Resource control hat. And you say you are an African. No, you're not. <laughs> they must change the way they dress. And dress African. And you must put something on your head. As somebody who is titled. A titled person doesn't go out without a head cover. The same head cover today that the Jews wear all over the world. You know the black patch that we put on, some of us put on. Have you seen any elderly man in the village come out without covering his head before? <laughs> hey, my goodness me. My goodness me. People should be paying for this lecture. So it's not free. They should be paying for it. Because it's not easy. But Elohim said we should preach it. And that is what we are preaching. Somebody will put on a bowler hat and say, Oh, uh, it's, 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 it's your traditional dressing. <laughs> because you are afraid of being identified as an Igbo man. Or Igbo woman for that matter. That was what the white man taught you. To hate yourself. Despise yourself. What they did to blacks in America. That is why they sell bleaching cream. That was why they developed relaxer to straighten their hair so they will look like Oyibo. The same thing you're doing wearing a bowler hat. You don't even know the meaning of it. You don't even know how to sequence uh, 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 the type of attire you need to be before you wear a bowler hat. You just go and buy it and you're tying a wrapper and you're wearing a bowler hat. And they say, oh, this is a delegation from Niger Delta. <laughs> Look at which you're wearing a it's called a Panama hat. Panama. Go and Google it. Panama hat. It is not African. You are not African. The number is here. We lecture them in the east in Biafra land. There are only two types of hats you have the red hat that you the chieftaincy hat that you have, and then you have a Uyghur, the cotton one that people also use go and check it out when you're wearing a bowler hat you're saying i am a product of slavery <laughs> or as we can wear yeah, his uh, small mustache hitler with his uh, panama hat are you from panama do you know the meaning of that thing you're wearing on your head it's called a panama hat are you from panama i'm asking you a hat that the white man designed to wear in the Caribbean because the Caribbean is always very hot. So they come outside and they wear a Panama shirt, you know, all those colored shirts, and they put on the hat so that the sun cannot be striking their face so they don't have a sunburn. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? Nonsense. Nonsense. Group calls for referendum. To decide the future of the zoological republic. A coalition of civil society groups under the banner of Yoruba Summit Group has called for a referendum, calling for it. Fulani will not do it. You need to force them. I want our young people to understand this. You need to force them. You need to force them. Somebody said the hat that a premato was wearing in Germany. Yes, that is a proper traditional hat. 
if you are a Biafran, if you are an Igbo man, I want you to go to Google and look at the pictures of Apabio. Apabio is from Anang, if I'm not mistaken. Apabio is Anang. No, is it Ibibio or Anang? I don't know. I, I will check. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I should know. That is the hat that Apabio wears. That means Apabio is Igbo. Isn't it? And when Chibika Mechi is normal, you know, his brain goes off, uh, off the tan off tangent sometimes. When his brain is normal, he also wears it. That is what we wear in Biafra land. That is the hat people wear. If you go to Idoma land, they wear the chieftaincy hat. You know, the one with the red one we wear. Yes. People who don't know anything come in to argue with people that knows everything. The Yoruba Summit Group has called on the Zoological Republic to organize a referendum. But what I'm saying today, in as much as this statement is laudable, there must be force behind it, or else Britain would not budge, or else Fulani Janjaweed will not cave in. That's what you need to know. And why do we need a separate country from Nigeria? Some of you are wondering. I want to tell you why. Because we do not. We do not. Think alike. <laughs> Somebody said that we shouldn't have participated in the protest. But I <laughs> hey, this UG black. <laughs> <laughs> black people always hiding and running from the truth he said his concern that we shouldn't have participated we should allow we should have allowed the NSAS protest until it achieves what what is he going to achieve he went into the third week and they were, I told you they'll bring out the army first of all they will buy the media they'll bring out the army they will shoot some people, some people will die, you run away, and the whole thing will come to an end. The, the, the whole world is talking today because of the leadership that our young people provided on the ground. If you do not know, black man always looking for who to blame. England came, conquered you. They knew if you had only one religion or one denomination, Anglican church, one day, all of you will gather together and reason. You know what they did to you, all of you, in this UG? They allowed Roman Catholic to come from Rome. They allowed Assemblies of God to, to, to come from USA. They allowed Apostolic Church to come. Everybody came, so you're confused. Anglican cannot marry Catholic. Whilst you're busy squabbling, they're busy colonizing you. Before you get your reasoning up to our level, it will take you 55 years for your reasoning to be as heightened as ours is it will take you 55 years in England what is the dominant church in England it is called the Anglican Church the Church of England of which every before you swear or before they put the crown of England on your head you must swear to defend the Church of England they were fighting Roman Catholics for very many years. No Catholic is allowed to become the king or the queen of England. In fact, only it was Tony Blair that changed it. The law of England states that if you marry a Catholic, you cannot ascend to the throne of England. True or false? Some of you, there are some things you don't know. Why do you think I, say, I said I must study in England? And one day I was researching and I was asking myself, the people that gave you the Bible, gave you, I mean, New Testament, of course, and gave you um, church. Why is it that when you came to Biafra land, Presbyterian was in Calabar? You know, they, 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 they had their niche. Almost all of Anambra was, was swallowed up by Roman Catholic Church. Some sprinkling, some sides in, in Abia State had the Church of Missionary Society, CMS. Their college, where they train their priests from Methodist Church, from Presbyterian, 
from Baptist, from Anglican, is in my village, in Isama Faruku. It is called Trinity College. Go and check it. You know, as a child, I kept wondering, when I started studying history, I said, how come England is only Anglican, Germany, only Catholic, with reform, because Martin Luther is from Germany, that started the reformation in the Roman Catholic Church. Why is it that Poland is only Catholic? Why is it that France is only Catholic? Why is it that Italy, of course, Rome is only Catholic? Why? Then it occurred to me that they are playing with Africans. You were saying, oh, come to my church, it's the best one. I'm in, I'm in Assemblies of God Church. My Jesus is better than your Jesus in Anglican Church. As you're busy squabbling, others are busy developing rockets to go to space. Because we are black and highly stupid, we never thought it through. That is the only place where at least I allowed, I tolerated Pentecostalism because it had an element of originality to it. it here is a group of black people uh, meeting together in a, in a good house or in a poultry or in, or in a shop somewhere saying they are praising uh, Jesus. I can understand that. At least it had a ring of originality to it. Something you started yourself. All the other ones they gave you from abroad. Ask them. In England, why is it that the queen cannot allow the children to marry somebody who is a Catholic? Because England is Protestant. Scotland is Presbyterian Methodist. Do you understand it? Black, Onisio G, do you understand what I'm saying? And where some baboons won't understand. They are too they, they, they are too dull. My dear brother, if we did not participate in the NSAS protest, they will say we did not participate. But at least now the whole world knows. We have now injected a much needed impetus into the thinking and reaction of young people. And another wave is going to come. When that wave comes, in one night, every politician in Nigeria will go down. That day you have a proper revolution. They have tried it, I've seen it's possible. You must now hold yourself and study. And then come back again harder. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? It's called resilience and mental toughness, which unfortunately, as a black person, or as black people, some of you cannot see it. If not for the lectures on this very platform over the years, will some of you be able to reason like human beings? You'll still be thinking like a typical black baboon idiotic in everywhere somebody's asking engineer 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 amadi engineer engineer njoko but in his village there is no light no good road no decent buildings but he's an engineer is that the type of life or the type of society you think we're going to live in some of you are very dumb bbc started broadcasting since 1929 Nobody has ever asked BBC to stop broadcasting. The thing about black people is that every, we are opinionated and everybody thinks they are very smart. Everybody, every, every monkey thinks their opinion should count. Why do you think you have election? Is the, it's just to settle it. If you can convince more people, you have won. Simple. Because you cannot be sitting down there and arguing every blessed day. Every idiot, a black person, once they've been to secondary school or or or, or they have OND, they think they are smart. <laughs> this UG, mad people everywhere. And they wonder why we speak the way we do. It's because let me tell you something. Biafrans in the main are Republicans. Everybody wants you to consult them before you do anything. That is why we speak the way we do. That is why sometimes before we do anything, we announce it live on air. Let me tell you about people you don't know them. If if you do anything that you 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 without their prior knowledge or information, they will sabotage it. None of that thing is not good. Though. It's a typical destructive trait that we have as a people. 
That is why we preach the way we do. That is why we say the things that we do that some of you do not understand. And that is why we always win. Eventually, we win. You prepare and you condition the mind of... I, I read what they did to Ujubu. If you know what Igbo men did to Ujubu, the so-called intelligentsia, you will assassinate all of them. Those who are still living. Wicked and evil sort of people. It was them that sabotaged the Ujubu. And that thing Ojuku saw over 50 years ago, they are now seeing and shouting and calling for restructuring. Typical Igbo people. And they are worried that the father was instrumental in sabotaging Biafra. He's today shouting, shouting um, uh, uh, restructuring. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? These are the things you need to understand. That's why we speak the way we do. We tell you what we are going to do, not everything, but some of the things, so that those in Kafanchi and those in Medugri will know, or else they will sabotage you, they will run to Fulani, they will offer their lives to Fulani, they will say to Fulani, don't worry, don't fight them, we'll fight them for you. That is the typical evil man, because he's not in charge, he wants to fight you for it. That's how, how they are. Every idiot thinks they have, they have an opinion that should be respected, of course. We respect that, but in the, at the end of the day, the majority will carry the vote. And that is why we always win. We are now going to open our lines to take a few calls because I want to restrict our broadcast to only two hours. And as you well know, some of you are now well versed in the protocol. The lines will open if you wish to speak. I will accept your request. And once you are aware of that, then you may be able to call us. I will accept some of you now. And if you go to your signal, you will see that I have accepted some of you. You should be able to speak. We have also opened up another signal line to ask people to call should they wish to do so. But right now, I am accepting some of your requests. Any, oh, my brother, thank you very much. He said, those who can't give Nigerians palliatives can never give you infrastructure and security. Which means those that stole ordinary bags of rice from you cannot make it possible for Nepal to give you light 24 hours a day. You cannot have any pipe born water. Nothing. Even not Mary Rice, they stole from you. And journalists are saying that you are the criminal. Unbelievable. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Give us your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Yes, please. Hello. Good evening, Onyindu. Good evening to you, my dear brother. We've lost him. We have lost him. I don't know if he's trying to hear his voice via his listening device. You know people are like that. You know people are like that. Everybody protested everywhere and they have gone home. Only Igbo men invited army to come and kill their own people. And tomorrow you're telling me these are your excellency, your governor. And my people everywhere. Um, yes, um, Pastor Jack, please, can you go go ahead and give us the update from Lagos this evening? Please go ahead. Yes, sir, I can hear you. Good evening from here, sir. Good evening to you. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. My name is Pastor Jack, calling from Lagos. Although today Lagos is calm, uh, uh, I wouldn't want to divulge the kind of information. Uh, people are strategizing because the protests, the protests will continue here in Lagos. It will continue. It will continue. It will continue. We make it open. Mm -hmm. We will not list the stop the people. So that is why I will not divulge some information on there. Uh, my take on the, this issue of palliative. In fact, one of the major problems that Nigeria has, 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 has structured has is the media. The media is the major problem. Yes, I agree with you. It is the journalists you have in Nigeria, they are the major problem. Give them money and they're not whatever rubbish they like. Exactly, my leader. They twisted the whole thing. I, I, imagine M, uh, uh, NBC threatening to withdraw or uh, sanction about a three media, three media outfit, Arise TV, a uh, channel, and which other one, AIT, for covering the NSAS protest. And this book cannot be able to take them to court because even though they, they, they go to court, the same Janja we court, we turn everything 
against them. That is why they will not be able to go to court because the judiciary system is not working. The legislature is not, is not working. The executive is not working. Nothing is ever working. You will see journalists turn the whole thing. Not like they're talking about that. The people they kill are lucky to get. They are not talking about looting. Who looted what? The parenting that is meant for people. If you open your radio, do your radio, what you hear, looters. And police say they have arrested more than 300 people in Lagos, suspended looters. But they were not able to identify those people that killed the peaceful protesters at the lucky target. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. But who looted from who? Is it the governors who are the looters or the people? Europe gave rice to governor to give to the people and the governors looted it. People want to go and collect their rice and you're calling them looters. I don't understand this, sir. I don't just, I don't just, they are the major, they are the major problem. And the second one is, I think, Manila, it is high time these governors in Biafra land have to be touched. They are, they are not untouchable. They bleed. It's, it's getting too much on them. Every little thing they conspire with the enemy and they unleash mayhem using the gender with soldier. I think it is high time we also, in one way or the other, touch one or two of them so that they also understand that they bleed. Maybe they have to learn something from it because it has gotten there is it's too much of them. I, I think that, that, that is my that is my contribution to that, my leader. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Useless journalists they have in the zoo. Just like their lawyers, who work Coco. There are brutal ones amongst them, as you. Uh, the same way it is with black people that have some fear. After all, today, Ngozo Konji Wala has been confirmed as the WTO president or whatever it's called. So there are some few sprinkling of brilliant people, but in the main, black people are very daft, very backwards. The way the reason is astonishing. Somebody said there is Ikwere and the Boma in Anambra. I don't think so. Uh, somewhere between Ihiala. And I don't, I don't think so. Is there anywhere called Ikwele in Anambra State? No, 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 I don't think so. I have not come across it before. I know there used to be a place called, I was told or led to believe there's a place called Afara in Abagana. Somewhere in Abagana. I don't know how to do it, but I do know there's Afara in Ikeduru as well. That I do know for sure. We are not taking any calls on WhatsApp, please. We are not taking any calls on WhatsApp. Do you understand? Do you understand? Please, no calls on WhatsApp, I beg of you. No calls on WhatsApp. You, If you want to call to speak on air, you must call on signal. Only signal, please. Some military personnel on green uniform with guns are on the streets now in Enugu. Abapa. Tezako. Is that the thing? The thing is, if you leave them, they come. It's a full and that's how they listen. And I warn you people, do you have what it takes to prolong this? Help us all. Our business is in danger. All of you in Kaduna, in Kanu, can you see what is happening now? Because of you, we stopped what we are meant to do. And they have come now, terrorizing people on the streets, and the governor is powerless. Can't do anything. The next round of, of protests will start, and when it starts, then let me see the idiots that will call me and ask us to de-escalate. They are on our own. Stupid set of people everywhere. Let me play something for you in your, from your one Nigerianist. You, all of you that believe in one Nigeria. All of you young people from Middle Belt and the South. I want to play something that somebody was... Oh, Chineke. <laughs> Fulani. Fulani. <laughs> Unbelievable. 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 Where is this um, thing? I, I, I saw it before. Has it disappeared? Somebody, what is that boy that was talking nonsense ab about um, what happened? About what? Where, where is it? What is the boy? I, I can't see it anymore. I cannot see it anymore. Oh. Uh, where is this? Where is the video of the foreigner boy saying that uh, uh, videos of people being shot at Lakey is from a movie that NSAS protesters cut out? to try to embarrass the government. Where is the video? I saw it before. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I can't see. Somebody sent it to me. And I wanted to play it. And now I can no longer say it. I don't know what has become of it. Well, maybe they have come into my system to take it. I will try to find it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Now, listen, please. Listen. I want you to listen. Some of the, some of the pictures and some of the videos... A movie that, that they, they, they... 
La, listen, please. Uh, uh, just a movie. Some of the some of the pictures and some of the videos. Yes. A movie that that they they, they, they stream, put it and post it online. That is the massacre. So for me, I'm not sure there is any massacre. This is a full animal speaking in Abuja. NTA was covering it. I told you that NTA is back. I told you to bring NTA down. You people did not listen. You don't listen. This is black people because your reasoning process, your, the way you articulate and the way you analyze is too slow. NTA washed all over the world by neocolonialists is telling you that these things that we are recorded, we covered here live on air, that it was a scene from a movie that somebody cut out from somewhere. Funny boy. And after that, you tell me you believe in one Nigeria. This UG, as I said, if, if there's any island that can go somewhere and just, uh, uh, you know, have the Afra, will go. Trying to get a black person to reason is the most difficult job in the world. The most difficult. Listen to your fellow one Nigerians and hear what he has to say about his fellow young people shot dead at Lake. Listen. The things are uh, uh, just a movie. Some of the some of the pictures and some of the videos are movie that that they, 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 they stream, cut it and post it online. That is the massacre. So for me, I'm not sure there is any massacre. He is not sure there is any massacre. He's a full boy. Illiterate or should I say semi semi illiterate? Went to school under quota education. Came out or was uh, went to school with scholarship, which I don't begrudge, of course. Came out and fast tracked into a position. NTA, a journalist, is there just listening to this garbage, saying it was a scene cut out of a movie. He didn't ask him, "Were you there? Which movie is that you're referring to?" They just allowed the idiot, and the idiot made his comment. And that is the zoo for you. That is the damnable zoological republic for you. A very horrible place. And all of you want to be Nigerians. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for some of you. Let us see if we can take one or two more calls before. In Abakba, in Enugu, they are there tonight. <laughs> they are there. They are in Olu. They are in Owere. They are in Okigwe, Abdotin. By tomorrow, we we'll see a lot of dead bodies all over the place. And those of them shouting, Oh, please, eh, eh, we are going to be under attack. Remember 1966? Where are you now? That ourselves were under attack by the zoo army. Where we come from. I'm not going to tell them what we're going to do. When it starts happening, then they will know. Let me see the bastard that will tell me uh, nobody informed us. Ndara. Ndara. Things are going to happen. They will see what is going to happen now. They know it. They will come begging. <laughs> that time I will tell them to F off. I will tell them to F off. Very kindly, of course. Useless people everywhere. I have, I have accept, if I accept you, check your signal. If I accept you, please, you call. I'm going to soap, soap. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, my leader. Yes, please. Your name and where you are, please. Uh, my name is your son's namesake, Nemeka. Nemeka, thank you very much. Please go ahead. My leader, I want to ask, I want to, I want to say something that is bothering me about these uh, leaders in Biafra land. All those leaders in Biafra land, those people, they are evil. They are in all courts. They are evil. They are wicked. If people, I mean, uh, common man is not seeing these things. I don't know what, I don't know what again they can see. These people, they can push their people outside. The, see, look at the way we, 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 we are everywhere in the whole world doing nothing. We see all of our life and Fulani is pushing us outside and occupying the remaining space. Have you seen any Fulani, Fulani man in outside? Working or seeing their women doing a shower, the answer is zero. But all the south, all the south, 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 all the all the south, all the south, Yoruba, Odudua, uh, Biafra, all of them are outside the country. 
and Fulani is occupying the remaining space. And they want to impoverish everybody so that when you, you at least, if uh, your, uh, 55 percent of your population is being moved out from the country, that's why they have the God saying that bringing their Fulani inside the, the, the country. Can you imagine this? Just like China now, China will tell you that China have people in Malaysia, China have people in Indonesia and everywhere. Then, because of their Chinese, they will tell you that people from China should come to their country and leave. Can you understand this kind of mentality of a black man? My leader, this is what I want to really say, that we need to do something about the, the these politicians. And, 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 and something will be done. We know we do things the way we do it to alert our people and inform them before they start yapping their usual rubbish. Nobody told us you are putting our life in danger. We are in Kaduna, but you being in Kaduna, you are putting our lives in danger. You know, keep going all you know where this night because of you people in the north. The caller on the line, can you hear me? For the last time, good, yeah, good evening to you. Your name on where you are, please. Good evening, my leader. My yes. name is Emo um, Wachino. So I'm calling you from Amobia, ex uh, exactly from Amobia town. And what is happening there? Is the army there as well? Well, um, the army have been roving around, going around, uh, looking for who they will devour. But I believe that uh, our people here are standing formidable and uh, very strong. We are resolute anyway. Uh, my leader, I just want to throw some uh, little idea of mine to uh, at least work. Let's see how we work on these people. Uh, first, I want to say is uh, that our governors, the people we elected to serve us, are the people betraying us. So, in this guide, I'm trying. I'm saying actually. We will start. We should start going after them, not even after every other thing, because these people are working for their slave masters, not even we, and they are ready to do whatsoever they want to do to, I mean, to bring us down to be, to to make sure that they keep going in their evil ways. So, sir, I'm trying. What are my advice to you is that we should find a way to start hunting these people down one after the other one after the other so that maybe others will learn from what they have seen because so far nothing ha has happened to any of them and they are horrible they come to you now they lie to you they say oh, no the army is not coming don't worry they're behind they don't bring the army that is that is what that is, that is what is driving me mad with these people yesterday we would have destroyed the clique yesterday they said no 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 don't worry oh we are brothers we are one we are one and they said pull back we pulled back and they brought army in do you see how they behave very terrible oh god so my advice now is that we go strategic all our volunteers should go strategic go and make a way to start attacking this so-called damn fucking people this man we elected to serve us to help us these people, you can imagine the way they looted what is meant for the masses. Look at people starving during this COVID-19 pandemic hit. People go, went hungry. People were looking for food, but the food was there. And now that there was a kind of protest that eventually led to the vandalization of properties, which the military started, which the military cost. Now it was discovered that they were palliative and it started from Lagos. And every other state follows suit. What our own people, our own states, Anambra state, Enugu state, it was recorded that people who went for these palliatives were shot dead. More than 10 people were gunned down. In Anambra state, in Enugu state, the same thing. But where the massive looting, the massive, ma massive vandalization was in North, I cannot even recall, I can't even hear that a place that, that is somebody was shot dead in those places. 
but our place here they want to impress their slave master they want to impress their masters they kill their own to impress their own their, their masters Marzi, what i'm saying this is getting too much i even watched a video last night seeing the army boasting trying to say they are coming down to east here it is too much we are taking this for it we are taking this too light Marzi, we are taking this too light let us look for a way let's go strategic it's not everything we have to come on air and air out but let's go strategic now and start dealing with these people even we might not be dealing with the military directly we have to deal with the people who are calling these people into the state to kill masses. People who are, who, who, oh, Marcy, in fact, please, please, let's look for a way. Let's look for a way. My name remains Chino, so I'm calling you from Amobia. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, my dear brother. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Um, things are going to happen. And now I have told all of you what is going to happen. So you now wait for it to happen. I will no longer talk to you about it. But things are going to happen. But I will no longer announce it on air until it happens. Because we are dealing with vampires. We are dealing with evil men. Evil men. We are dealing with evil men. Liars and deceivers. They say one thing. And, and I, I knew that BBC was behind it. I knew that it was the it was British, you know. They'll be smiling now. Katuna Lang will be partying in Abuja at her residence, saying we have gotten one over the niggers. I want to tell you what's going on here. Mazen Nam, the kind of live broadcast today, Port Harcourt area boss Mount Road block station for Uyibo River State. <laughs> BBC News. Pigeon. <laughs> Uh, BBC, all hand in hand, they are John, they are media houses, they are um, um, high commissioner, and the traitors in our land, all working hand in hand. What they wanted to say is here that Wike said that um, uh, Governor Wike said River State will no go ever day annex to any state or zone as he did for Niger Delta. He go remain for Niger Delta. That is their game plan. When they said there are people speaking, there are four hundred people in Niger Delta. Wike is amongst them. Heshnoha is amongst them. Their game plan is to get in water to be part of Niger Delta. They said to go power. I will no longer announce what we are going to do live on air, and everybody should go into the bush. If you are in your house and they arrest you and you're a young person, that is your business. That is your fault. If you're going out wandering all over the place in the evening and they arrest you, it means you're stupid. You're very hopeless. I said go into the bushes. The hour has come. I thank you all for listening this very evening. We will be back here again tomorrow morning. And I do hope that before then that some of you will acquire the much needed common sense to be able to discern i pray for all of you that chiku kikadi amapurumi may give some of you sense because a black man is a very stupid case i assure you but together and by the grace of god we are going to overcome from me from here this evening good evening <laughs>